Welcome to Electron Online, a second method by which we can solve a trinomial where the coefficient of the x squared term is not equal to 1, and here we're trying to factor this trinomial, is called the FOIL method. So what we do is we draw a big FOIL, and then on the left side we write all the combinations of numbers so that when we multiply them together we get the coefficient of x squared, we get to number 6. The combinations are 6 and 1, 1 and 6, 3 and 2 and 2 and 3. In each case, when we multiply these two numbers together, we end up with a 6. On the right side, we're going to do the same thing. We need two numbers. When we multiply together, we get a negative 10, which means negative 10 times 1, or negative 1 times 10, or negative 5 times 2, or negative 2 times 5. Now we're going to look at all the possible combinations, and sure enough, since there's 4 on the left side and 4 on the right side, there's a total of 16 different combinations. But it's not quite that bad because in some cases we can immediately see that the solution is not present. We're looking, of course, for the multiplication. For example, I'm going to multiply the 2 times 1 and multiply 3 times negative 10. When I add them together, I should get the middle term. So let me show you an example. So here we have 2 times 1, which is 2. 3 times negative 10, which is negative 30. When I add it together, I get negative 28, which is not equal to negative 11, so that's not a valid combination. And in some cases, you can see right away that you would not get a good combination. For example, here we get 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3, 2 times 10, which is a positive 20. Notice when I add that together, I get a positive number, which is not negative 11, so that doesn't count either. 2 times, so we have 2 times 2, which is 4, and 3 times negative 5, which is negative 15. When I add those together, wow, I'm in luck. After just 3 tries, I get the right number. Negative 11 matches negative 11, which means I got the number 2 multiplied times 2. I have the number 3 multiplied times negative 5, and I have the correct solution, which means I can now go ahead and write this trinomial in factored form. First, draw my parentheses, like this. And this term, I get 2x minus 5. And on the second binomial right here, I get 3x plus 2. So now I have the factored form of my original problem. And to make sure that this is the correct answer, what we can do is check by multiplying everything together again and see if we get the original problem back. So we multiply 2x times 3x, which is 6x squared, 2x times 2, which is plus 4x, minus 5 times plus 3x is minus 15x, and minus 5 times plus 2 is minus 10. When I add the common factors together, or common terms together, this is equal to 6x squared minus 11x minus 10, which is the same as I had on the original problem, which means I found the correct answer. And that's how we do that.